Hello, I'm Aaron from Classroom Secrets and today, uh, this is a lockdown live as I've been calling them, and today I just want to show you a practical idea you can do um, at home, something that's a bit different. So, here's the things you're going to need. You will need, let's start at this end, a glass of water. It doesn't matter how much water there is in there, but a cup will be fine for this. You'll need something to stir your creation with. You'll need some sunflower oil. Vegetable oil works equally well too. You'll need a container to home your lava lamp. You'll need some food dye. I've got some black coal there, but you could use red, blue, anything you want. And the thing that really makes the magic work is an Alka-Seltzer tablet there. Baking soda also works equally well. So what I'm going to try and do now is do this one-handed. So. This is your cauldron, if you like. This is where all your uh, ingredients, your mixture is going to go. So let's put in the sunflower oil first, actually. Here we go. Try and not get it everywhere. So we're going to put about two thirds of your container full with sunflower oil. That should do the trick. And the rest, you can see, I've got about two thirds there, so you can bring in some maths, you can ask some questions while you're doing this. It can be adult-led or it can be um, child-independent activity. Um, obviously, it depends how much you trust your child with all these liquids and mixtures, especially the food dye. I would recommend adult supervision for it, but two thirds is about what you're aiming for with that sunflower oil or vegetable oil. Then you just want to top that gap up with some normal water and you'll see, it's quite tricky, one hand. And you'll see, eventually, the oil, vegetable or sunflower oil, will be on top of the water. Now you can just see it there, the water is settling at the bottom and the oil is on top. And that's to do with the density of the liquids being used. And that's something that you could ask your child to uh, research, what is density? Go find it in a dictionary, what does it mean and how does it apply here? So why has the oil, vegetable or sunflower, um, floated on top of the water? And that's because the water has a higher density than the oil. Next comes the very careful part of using your food dye. So, just going to pop a few drops in there. Hopefully we've got some left. Yeah. I tried it yesterday with some different colours. Um, used baking soda instead of um, an Alka-Seltzer tablet. And each one has different varying uh, success. So that's something you could try and experiment with at home. So you can see it sort of settles that food dye right at the bottom. And what you might want to do is just give it a stir so that food colouring, that dye, mixes in with the water. Okay. I'd recommend stirring rather than shaking because shaking it will create a lot more bubbles and it may just sort of cloud the effects of the lava lamp as it goes ahead. So. Once you've got those things in place, you've put your water in, your oil and your colour, food colouring or your dye, the very last thing to do is pop your Alka-Seltzer Alka tablet in or your baking soda. Uh, I'm going to break that up, just crunch it up into four pieces rather than putting it all in at once because I'm not sure how much it will fizz and, and what will happen. Um, I haven't got any dishcloths at the ready just in case it does overflow, but it shouldn't do. Um, so that should be your ready state and then you just simply drop in your Alka-Seltzer tablets or your baking soda and you'll see it starts to bubble and it should eventually, there you go, it takes that dye up and it circulates in the oil and then it settles down again. So you can keep popping those bits in and to make it even more dramatic you could uh, put a, a lamp underneath a light box or to the side and it the great thing about this is it can be re reused over and over again. You just need more baking soda or you need um, more Alka-Seltzer tablets, really. But what's happening here is you could get uh, your child to describe, do a, a presentation on what's happening, the science behind it. And what's happening is as the tablet goes down and dissolves, it creates a reaction and it releases gas. As you can see it there, it's bubbling up and that gas 
takes up the coloured dye, the water, up through the oil, which is what you can see, and then it bursts, and then the water, the coloured water then drops back down. So it's really nice, really effective, and as I say, you can do lots of, of learning around this. You could draw a diagram to explain what's happening. You could do a presentation. You could even write a set of instructions as to how you've made it and send it to a friend to see if they can do it as well. And I think one of the better things you could do, uh, better than probably I can do right now, is do a video instruction as well. I think that'd be fantastic as well. So that's one thing you can do uh, over the Easter break. And any other suggestions are, let me know how you've got on. Um, varying degrees, use different colours, different ingredients, uh, different quantities. Get that learning in there and pop a comment down there, share a picture of your creations. Thank you.